So the second form of mesh construction that I'm going to show now is uh, extrusion modeling. So I'm just going to create a box, very simply. Um, we're just going to increase or increase the length segments, the width segments, and the height segments to all the ten. And as you can see at the minute, we can't see any of the segments on the box. And um, we can see it in the orthographic views here. It says we need to change from realistic. We need to add in uh, edge faces. So this, as you can see now, that we can see all the extra segments that we added in. And the more segments you had, the more more detail you can add in. I suppose you could say. So I'm going to click on the box uh, modifiers again, uh, same as the last time for the other uh, for the cylinder. I'm going to use the edible poly. Now for uh, extrusion modeling, you just want to you want to want to select the polygons. So if I want to make a uh, no, a robot head or a robot body, so we could uh, select all these polygons here in the uh, center of the box, and go up to our graphite modeling tools up here, and then go to extrude extrude tool up here, and we and when we, when we hover over it, the the mouse the icon changes. As we know when we're using the extrude tool, so we just click the simply move up or down, depend on what you want to do. So in this case, we want to move it up, and and then we want to go to the side here, and we're just going to extrude these out again, and again for this side. So there's the the arms in there, and then we can just simply drag these down. So there you go, and that's all made from one mesh. So you can see how maybe characters. Uh, can be built up using this. It's a very effective tool in creating objects in 3ds Max. So.